Hello everyone and welcome to my 10 week pregnancy update. I am in double digits and I don't actually quite know how that happened. Um, how am I feeling? I don't really know to be honest. I feel like I'm getting better um, this week. It was my first week back at work, just the week just gone. Um, so I'm filming this a little bit late because I totally forgot to do it the weekend. So it is Tuesday today and I'm actually 10 weeks and four days pregnant so i've made notes on the past week like i always do um so i won't touch on what happened this week because that'd be my 11 week update but i will be touching on what's happened in the week like that's just gone so we got back from holiday and i started work which was like horrible <laughs> to be honest not because like i work in a horrible place or anything like that but just because it was an adjustment to say the least um I had a bit of a panic last week because um, I thought I might have to step in for one of my colleagues who wasn't very well and do some training down in London but not only would I have had issues with like William and childcare but I just thought physically I can't do that right now. Um, I'm still in that stage where unless I'm drinking um, regularly and eating regularly and taking short breaks I either get really exhausted really quickly or I get very very queasy really quickly and my concentration is a challenge and you know it's so hard like when you actually think about the fact that women have to in by society standards anyway with this with like you know miscarriages or complications and that general worry and fear you know hide their pregnancy for the first trimester it's actually really hard to do when you know there's so many like responsibilities in your life and you do feel rotten and it's really hard to keep up with everything so that was quite difficult but I'm feeling you know towards the end of last week I started to feel like things were getting a little bit easier for me to cope with I still feel queasy but not as much as I have been doing which was a relief I feel like I kind of peaked while I was on holiday in terms of how often I felt sick or was sick um but it was easier to deal with because I was off so it's probably well timed whereas now I feel like okay I don't feel great but I'm used to this now I've got this now I know what to do when I start to feel queasy and that's kind of nice really at least I can cope and that's all I want right now like if I get to a point where I feel better than this I'd be amazed <laughs> but um I'm hoping that might happen so um I've been having more like round ligament pain this week I've noticed like pulls and stretches I've got a bit of a cold and I've been sneezing a lot and every time I sneeze I feel it as well um which isn't nice it's kind of a bit like whew, Ow. um but that's definitely been happening happening and I'm very like aware that I'm growing put it that way like I'm really aware um I had a go with the Doppler which I know is like Marmite when you're pregnant now like some people don't like them because it can cause people to be nervous and other people find them a huge reassurance and I think personally with Dopplers whatever works for you you do and you own that and you feel fine about that and don't let anyone let anyone else tell you otherwise for me I I understand quite logically that I'm not always going to find the baby's heartbeat every time particularly at this stage so I am not worried by that because it is quite early but I think that me Mark and my mum actually found the heartbeat we definitely found the placenta because there's no mistaking that whooshing wind through the trees noises um so we definitely found that but then after i i had a go myself and was really pressing i did hear a heartbeat that was significantly faster than my own so i'm assuming that that is it um but again i'm still not worried um but it was really nice to have it go and i haven't done it since so maybe i'll have a try tonight who knows um but i'll be looking forward to you know doing that a little bit more regularly as i get bigger because i just love to hear that noise it's like the sweetest music in the world it just really makes me happy um what am I doing in terms of um like sickness like I've said and cravings um craving still food still I am better in this pregnancy than I was with Williams in that I can eat a lot of very things and only a few things turn my tummy I've still got that love of carbs particularly mashed potato and bread I've started having two pieces of like wholemeal bread before work every day or like a crumpet or something and that has really really helped me like I get ready a little bit quicker and a little bit earlier sit downstairs with my mum and Bill while Mark's getting ready and I just relax and have that time to eat something have a glass of orange juice and sat myself 
yourself up and it makes a huge difference so if you're struggling at the moment I would really recommend eating or drinking as quickly as you can um now I'm finding that my sickness is getting gradually like easier to cope with as like like basically when I start in the morning I don't actually feel too bad now so morning sickness it must have been a man who thought of that name because like it's every bloody day every bloody hour every bloody second minute sickness it's horrible and um, I can wake up in the morning and feel relatively fine and good in myself it's not too bad and then as the day progresses I think I struggle the most around after lunchtime I get a bit of a dip and I feel quite tired and queasy and then I feel quite unwell before bed so I feel like the further along I get my sickness kind of becomes later and later and you know what I can deal with it when I'm at home because William's an angel and my mum and dad have been really supportive and Mark couldn't actually be better like while I really miss living at home and all the renovations still happening, I actually think that living with my parents have been a blessing because they have been so, so great. Like, they've been cooking meals and doing washing and not asked anything of me, and I just, I can't thank them enough. So, mum and dad, if you're watching this, like, I think you're amazing. Um and yeah i mean heartburn is another thing that's still here to stay like i mentioned last time and um i had to unbutton my jeans the day i turned 10 weeks because it really digging into my tummy so i'm not sure that i will last for much longer <laughs> in um you know the ones i've got i'm really really going to put off buying maternity stuff because like it's a rip off and i hate it so in terms of baby because we've rabbited on about me now um baby is now 3.1 centimeters long and is the size of a date which is quite big really like when you think about it next week um when i turn 11 weeks on friday rather baby should be the size of a fig which in my like opinion is insane um and that's from crown to rump remember so there's still little like leggy things kicking off that as well um they're um equipped with all of the internal organs the heart's almost fully developed and the tail is gone and the webbing between fingers and toes has disappeared so my little like dude or little girl has got like proper fingers um which is really nice um the eyes are moving from the side of the head to the front and then baby's ears are getting their final shape as well and baby's preparing to make some noise so that is kind of incredible and in terms of how baby looks da, 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 I much prefer this photo from last week's last week's photo was horrible but this one looks a bit more like baby like so that is how baby's looking right now um and I just can't believe that I'm at week 10 already. I'm so close to the scan now and I can't wait to finally press publish on these videos so I don't have to lie anymore and I don't have to keep it a secret because I'm so happy and I'm so excited to share it with the people that I care about and like all of my friends and everybody that like watches me and supports me and all of that and I just can't wait to get it out because I'm sick of hiding it so yeah i will quickly show you my belly um and then i will leave it for another week and update you next time so this is my 10 week belly and i can definitely start to see a slope happening especially when I breathe in you can see that like I can't do anything with this anymore I still think that I'm retaining a lot of my shape for now I am only 10 weeks so you would think as much wouldn't you but I definitely feel like I'm thickening now in the middle like I, I'm really really aware of it and you can see like there's this little roundedness to my tummy so yeah I mean from the front I'm just looking more like round I can see it here and I don't know my belly button's got a bit of a funny shape but that is my belly for 10 weeks so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time hopefully bye